what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a what's in my lash cart i do lash from home i just moved here to texas so my setup is not the greatest like i'm in my living room right now i don't have no couches i have a mattress behind me just you know you work with what you got i've had clients already here in texas they don't seem to complain i mean they get their lashes done and then they leave it's not like they're sitting here and examining my whole freaking space i do want to work on finding a space if i want to continue doing this full time or if i want to do fitness full time or if i want to do social media full time so i'm kind of kind of everywhere right now i'm still trying to find my place here in texas bear with me and my background and my lighting and stuff like that but i am going to show you guys what i have in my lash cart in my next video i will be doing a video on now how i'm marketing myself out here trying to gain clients i don't have i don't have no family and i don't have no friends here i will be posting videos on how i personally am marketing and putting myself out there to gain clients so let's get right into my handy dandy lash cart everything you need to start lashing is what i'll be talking about here and i will also have everything down in the description box like everything you need to start lashing and then like all the extras so i'll put everything you need and then the extras a little bit lower than it and everything i get is off of amazon telling you you guys amazon is going to be your best friend when it comes to lashing your supplies gets here literally in two to three days it doesn't take longer than that if you have prime so i do suggest investing in prime i buy my glue my fan my gel pads my tape my tweezers literally everything i buy off of amazon except for my trays and also my teeth whitening gel i do sell myself however my prices are not that expensive the gel is only 40 dollars and my lash trays they're only like seven dollars seven dollars versus twenty dollars that all the other instagram businesses are selling theirs for definitely worth it and i'm telling you i've been using these trays since the beginning you guys since the beginning these are the last trays that i like and that i've been using so if you like my sets if you follow my instagram the pink beauty dot com or at the pink beauty you'll see my my sets and if you like my sets those these trays are the only trays that i've using i've been using from the beginning i've never used anything else so i'll be doing a different video business trays versus amazon trays very very soon like i said i will be posting a lot more hopefully my freaking laptop just broke so now i have to find a way to edit these videos let's get right into my car video i think i said that twice already so let's get right into it okay let me see if i can get this angle a little better for you i had dog toys everywhere i don't have no clients today but in my lash cart right here i did buy it off of amazon so this is my lash cart so we are going to be going every single drawer so the first drawer here i have my i do have these little trays here so i have my micro swabs and lip brushes here which i do use a lot of for my primer I have my hand sanitizer here from Bath and Body Works. My gel iPads. Again, everything off of Amazon, sis. So here is what I got in that one. And then over here on this side, I have my brushes and my glue rings just here. I do have my little mirror from beauty creations i got it at beauty con so um this is the best angle i can get so i'm gonna be in and out in and out in and out but here i have my little mirror and then i have my super bonder i'm not going to really talk much about it but my super bonder here i have these lint free little little like little napkin wipey thingies that i use for my glue and to kind of wipe their eyes when they're getting watery so i'm gonna leave that out because i touched it so right here i have that that's all i have there i have my primer i am currently using stacy lash so this is the primer that i'm using and what i personally do is i take my lid out i spray it into the lid like this so I'll take a micro swab and a lip brush, not me giving a mini tutorial. I'll wipe it around in the lid, let the lid dry so I don't cap it right away, I just let it out. And then I'll go in and I'll prime the lashes like that. On here I do have my adhesives. So again, like I said, I've been using Stacy Lash. This is the lash that I use. 
Um, another Stacy Lash, it's a sensitive glue. And then in here I have just my lash serum that I do sell online for $5 if you want to grow your lashes. Don't ask me why I have it in my cart. It contains nothing but glues, so you don't want to use that on your clients, or nothing but oils. So in here I got my tweezers, my um, tapes, lavender essential oil, and then my tweezers. Apparently in my last home video, I had people at me as to why my tweezers were out, so now they are put away. How about that one? Uh, so that is what's in my first drawer. In my second drawer, I have my fan. And then I have my glue shaker. I think it's running low, so got my glue shaker here. Again, everything I buy on Amazon. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep saying that, okay? And I do have my DD curls with my D.3 over here. So over here is just kind of like all of the lashes that I do use currently. So over here I have all my classics. And then I have my classic tray here. Over here I have all my D curls um, for my volume looks with my volume tray here. Over here I have kind of like my teeth whitening and cleaning stuff. So I have the gingival, gingival? Barrier gels here with the cheek retractors. Let me move it down a little bit. So I put my barber side in here. Got my lash soap, which I should actually put somewhere else because that's not there. And then I have like all my tooth gems stuff in here with my teeth whitening gel. A lot of people always ask me how do I store it, and I just kind of room temperature in here. And then in here I have all my extra trays that I use and then I'll be doing a video on my brow balm, brow lamination. So I'll be doing a video on this very, very soon. There. And then on my last one I have my consent forms. So I have a little thing here with my consent forms. And I have my dental bibs, gloves, extra rolls of tape i have my mask in here um sometimes i keep my money at the bottom my pen for my consent forms and then sometimes i have all my extra tweezers in here um the different caps to the the shaker I have my gel remover in here because I don't really use it that much. So I have my gel remover in here. Um, like I said, extra tape rolls. I bought all my tapes off of Amazon. I'll have them down in the description if you want pink tape rolls. So I have my pink tape rolls right here. I have extra micro swabs. So that pretty much wraps up what's in my lash cart. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I just moved here. I don't haven't found a space yet if, if I want to do continue to do this full time. This was everything I had in my lash cart. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I will be trying to I'm trying to post more frequently, so bear with me, you guys. Um, I don't really have like a setup where you know I have like a background and stuff like that. So bear with me. The lighting, I promise you, is going to get better one day. I say that every time. But it's going to get better one day. I'll see you guys in my next video.